Winning the battle for relevance is not just about your success. It is about your very survival. How do you offer something that is going to reposition your business so you're adding value in a new way or attracting a new marketplace that you may never have accessed before? Most businesses or industries or brands or teams, ideas are actually well and truly along the track of becoming obsolete well before there is any, any external indication of it. If I were to ask you which industry you most associate with Switzerland, what would it be? Okay, yeah, banking. All right, what else? Chocolates. Okay, yes, skiing, tourism. Okay, interestingly, you know, if I'd asked your parents or your grandparents the same question, there would have been no hesitation. You know what they would have said? Watchmaking. Even up until the early 1970s, the Swiss produced half of all watches sold around the planet every single year. You know, we're the Swiss. We know how watches work. Everyone learns from us. And yet at the same time, on the other side of the globe, a company named Seiko were developing a new type of watch called, of course, the Quartz Watch. A new technology, a new way of producing watches. And when it was first released, the Swiss said, we don't want a bar of it. That refusal to embrace the new technology were disastrous. Within 10 years, the Swiss watchmaking industry was decimated. When you develop groupthink, when you get into a situation where everyone in an organisation or a team is approaching an issue from the same perspective. You miss those opportunities that are outside your frame of reference. But you don't just miss opportunities, you also miss threats. We've not done it that way in the past and we see those things as threatening. They're outside our frame of reference. Sometimes they're so far off centre that we think they're a little bit crazy. And yet sometimes those are the very ideas we need to be paying attention to. Now who's your Seiko? What is your quartz watch? You know, what's the question that companies ask when they start to notice they've gone into decline? What happened? You know, we were on track. Where did we go wrong? Something's missing. That effortless momentum you once had. That sense of excitement and passion and zeal, that X factor, your mojo. It's almost like it started to started to wane, started to evaporate. Here's what happens, because the outside looks good, the sales figures are good, expansion is underway, we ignore that gnawing sense. And what that actually is, is that is the first indication implicitly that you are becoming irrelevant. This is the point where people go, what do we do? How do we get back to where we were? How do we regain momentum and relevance? Okay, the good news is you can do that. You might be in a specific industry where you know, the government has changed the rules on you and you've got to figure out how to respond and you're almost scrambling just to keep up. Things aren't as they once were and if you don't keep up with that change, you get left behind. Finance sector is a great example of this. Now what about if you're in sales? Your sales has become increasingly difficult because your customers are smart, smarter than they've ever been before, and they've got access to technology they've never had before. So you've now got customers coming through that because of technology can log onto a website and access products and services whether you are involved or not. See, what we've seen in the last few years is the death of the gatekeeper. If you're a leader, you, know, you face the challenge of how do you stay relevant to your team? You've got a whole lot of younger generations coming through and probably a far more diverse team culturally than you've ever had before. How do you connect with them? How do you stay relevant to their needs to what it is that's going to motivate them? You know, maintaining vibrance and momentum and growth and relevance in the face of this constant onslaught of change, this constant state of flux, and this is incredibly difficult. It isn't easy, but it is possible.